guys welcome back it's that time again where we get to open a lyra and a teferi and a karn in the same draft it's going to be amazing are you guys ready illusions done at g2's list so i heard you asking to hang out i'm just wondering why you were not asking <laughs> astrid you are wonderful you are my favorite that's a good point though i really should have done that i apologize for not not going to you first That was a that was a misplay on my on my behalf. Ideally, you can forgive me, and we can move on. Oh, Multani. Oh, and an Imbolus's clutches. So not really the creature we want. Not the not the mythic we want. Rather, good enough though. Also, this card's amazing. This card's amazing. This card's great. Yeah, but it's got to be Multani, right? I just fed her. She needs to let it digest. I'm sorry for her outburst, everyone. Oh, Robert, Robert, Robert. What up, Black Flame? We have a good time. Yeah, Multani is really busted. He's actually extremely hard to deal with outside of, like, Blessed Light. Monsonster. feed him some dinner he's all yours man he's like god he's like a little like a little gentleman that we have to pawn off on each other oh primeval's glorious rebirth we can get back the multani that's almost good enough by itself but frank you know he has a built-in way to return him right maybe i think clouded or sphinx is the strongest card in this pack The good thing about getting Multani stolen is that you can kill it and still get it back. He's a good little gentleman. We can also take Soothsayer, which is also fine. So is Thalid Omnivore. Hunter's being all Hunter's being all creepy on this side. This side. And now he's just over here peeping and creeping. I think it might just be Cloud Rear Sphinx. Ooh, how much do I want this? Real, I really want it. And we got a Multani, and we'll probably open a Yolo, Yolova, Jalova, Tetiova. Tenova. M Magnova. It's probably just Ancient Animus here, or Blink of an Eye. Oh, so greedy. I know it was the wrong pick, guys. I know it. In my heart, I know it was not right. But I took it anyway. Urgently need advice on the best thing to get a hungry how I'm going on 28th. I know I said urgently when it was like it wasn't necessary, but I assure you it was. <laughs> um, they're actually their deep dish pizza is really good. I would get it uh well done and it's got a really crispy crust. And you can actually pick whatever whatever flavor of crust you want is pretty good. The butter cheese is good. Um, the garlic is good. Cajun is good. All, but all the flavored crusts are very good. Oh, God. I'll never learn my lesson about these legendary sorceries, will I? But, yeah, my choice would be to get the... Uh, that's a Yargle. Yargle. We're going to take the migration. Be migrating every day, boy. Butter cheese of Cajun or Riot. And you capitalized Riot. What is even happening with that sentence? Oh, look. See, there you go. There you go. There's a legendary for our Karn Stone Forest Sunday, the Jaya Ballard, that we get every single draft. Clearly. I'm going to take this Academy Drake. 
Oh, that's a good point about the about the keep getting Multani back. This is probably the best legendary guy to have with Karn's Temporal Sundering. He's the gift that keeps on giving. But not to your opponent, because... Oh, Wizard's Retort? Okay. Mm, okay. I like a good solid hard counter. I can't guarantee that that's going to cost two at any time, but... Yeah, Jai is pretty bad. Like, you can get a fourth pick Planeswalker in Limited. She's also the only Planeswalker I've ever had passed to me or opened. So, that's cool. That's a little statistic there for you guys. Wow, a Hungry Howie's Reservation. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. You're still greedy for that pick. That's all I'm saying. That's, you know, I'm not trying to escape my greediness. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to excuse it. I'm just trying to find a silver lining here. Lana War Envoy is just fine. Green White Hawatley was also pretty bad. Tybalt also pretty bad. All of these were not good. I want to be real with you guys. I feel like 281 subs is my subscriber purgatory. I I realized I went to Brian's for the pre-release on April 22nd and 23rd. Right? So nearly almost, almost a month ago. And I peaked over that weekend at 281. And since then, I've hit like 290, 280, 2, 2, 292, whatever. Um, but I literally, every night, I'll go to sleep at like 285 and then I'll wake up and by the time I start streaming again it'll be 281 and it keeps hitting 281 and it's frustrating because it feels like in the past month I have yet to net a sub I've gotten them and then other ones expire and I'm just like well this is this is frustrating so 281 I've just come to terms with the fact that it's my subscriber purgatory so it is it is what it is is it Snapper? It's probably Gift of Growth. I feel like we can get another Snapper. I made her like three pieces from it. You do, you do what you got to Oh, this is a great card to come back. That's a nice little piece of green removal. It also makes me feel like the green is open. Uh, prime subs do not renew automatically. And I think, it, yeah, it definitely has something to do with prime subs. Because like, so, so I started this morning at 285. And then when I started streaming, it was 281. And then I, I started, uh, and then while I was streaming, I went back up to 283. And then before this, I started, I went to 281. And so it definitely has to do with prime subs because between then and now, two prime subs expired and they just don't auto renew. All right, well, Torgar, I'm pretty sure it's fungal plots here. This is a nice little engine. I think we can get another one of these if we want it. We can get another deep freeze. Yeah, fungal plot seems good. Marwin, fungal plots number. Oh, there we go. That's a beautiful boy to get past to you. That's all we need to see. That's about all. Yeah, fiercers. That makes sense. I know some people don't have auto renew on as well. I imagine, but um, you know. Oh, Tempest J Oh, Spore Crown. Oh, Untamed Cut. Wow, this pack is gas. All three of the uncommons and the rare are cards I'd want, along with this Sapperling Migration. 
Good lord. Is it Thalid? It feels like it's Untamed Kavu. I think it's Untamed Kavu. I don't want to focus too heavily on Sapperlings because we might not. We just might not have Sapperlings. Also, in Bolus's clutches makes whatever it takes legendary. Which is nice with this guy. Oh, a Slinvada. I would love to take a Slinvada. I think it might be Memorial to Genius, though. Drawing two cards is really where I want to be. It's one of these two. This is drawing one card, though, and it also fixes our mana and gives us a creature. Hmm. Also lets us splash something if necessary. Splash a Radiant Lightning if we have to. Yeah, I'm going to go with Thank this guy. You. Harmon with the four month in a row sub. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. I'm going to take time of ice. That's not really close. Our deck's looking pretty solid right now. One of you here, you here. And this is probably our curve. Yes, that is correct. Saga on three lore counters, blinking it with Sentinel while the trigger's on the stack is is definitely busted. Pierce the Sky or Broken Bond? I feel like we have answers to Flyers, but I really want to get rid of something obnoxious with that. Oh, I will take another Sapperling Migration easily. Nothing I really care about here. Take a Curator's Ward, whatever. Actually, Nature Spiral's pretty good. I don't mind getting it in Bullis's Clutches back. Wow, Deep Freeze came back? Sure. This is pretty good. I like quiet evenings. I like to put on a little jazz. Have a nice quiet evening. Well, now I know. I was going to say good to know. But I don't know. It changes now, I know. So. Wow, the fungal plots came back. That's actually pretty impressive. Corrosive Ooze is actually playable. I gave you a hard time. About, I, I don't know if I gave you that hard of a time. I didn't. That was not my intention. This deck's looking pretty okay. Corrosive Ooze, you can stay. Oh. I've boarded in Arbor Armament more times than I would have expected. I will 100% splash the Teferi that we're about to open. And I'll just play the Karn because it's, it's on color, you know. <laughs> of course you open a Teferi in your first pack. All right, here we go. <laughs> Crying out loud, dude. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Not the mythic we're looking for again. Because it never is. I think we're actually blacklisted from opening Karns, Teferis, or Lyra's. But, uh, okay. I'll take two Multanis. He's legendary. But I guess we'll manage. The old double Multani draft.
Wow, Double Time Advice and Weight of Memory and Untamed Kavu. All three of these are great. I think Weight could actually come back. Um, I actually feel like we might need the Untamed Kavu more than we need the um, the Time of Ice. We only have eight creatures. We have two Sapperling Migrations, but only eight creatures otherwise. I think if anyone owed me a favor at Wizards, I would rather have two Lyras or two Teferis or two Karns. <laughs> yeah, Weight's probably going to come back. I'm going to take the Untamed Kavu. Oh boy, sometimes your deck is just real good. <laughs> Must be nice. <laughs> oh, the old double in boluses, clutches, double in tame Kavu, untamed Kavu, double Multani draft. A classic. I probably just want Wizards, Wizards Retort number two here so I can uh, make sure to counter all my opponents' spells that are not nearly as powerful as my own. You're probably going to go up here. I would not mind a, a Lanawar Elf here. I doubt we'll get multiples, but one would be nice. Oh yeah, these do count as creatures thank most you. of the time. Sliderman, thank you so much for the five months in a row, dude. Wizards has gifted me a triumph for my five month anniversary. Uh just Lana War Scout. I guess we could take the. We have, I would take Unwind, but we have two Wizards Retort already. I'll just take the Scout, because being able to play any of these guys for one one less mana is pretty good. I'm going to take this Mammoth Spider. We could take Pierce the Sky as a sideboard card, but Mammoth Spider does kind of the same thing, so. Yeah, this is a lot of six drops. This might be an 18 land deck, am I right? He is right. Fire Intervention. That's splashable. <laughs> Almost tempted to take this. Yeah, so the point of the deck was to play Gitsu Lava Runner to try out all the two mana to two power attacking creatures with haste. So if you take out the Lava Runner, it's just a different deck. I subscribe to catching on YouTube when I needed more magic content in the wake of Chion leaving for Wizards and I've never regretted it. You make great content. Thank you so much, man. Slider, I really appreciate it, buddy. That is, uh, that is a, a great compliment. I uh, appreciate that. None of these cards are any good for us. Let's take Valid Omnivore here. I'm not going to play anything else. Crossand Druid is actually pretty okay. I could see playing that guy. <laughs> Silva Sensei, thank you so much. Uh, Crossand Druidos. All right, so we're, we're nearing the bottom of the barrel here as far as picks go. For the re similar reason why I'm here inflicting myself upon you and your chat. Okay, I, I accept that, though. Uh, I'll take, oh, now I'll take the... Um, uh, I'm going to take the rescue. We can bounce an Imbolus's clutches in response to their trick. They try to kill their guy and we get back Imbolus's clutches. That seems pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. I guess we can just have another one. I'm going to take Befuddle just in case we face an Evra. And then we can Befuddle it and, and kill them in response. Which is super, super sweet beats. Um, we need to make two cuts. Uh, 
All right, so this this pile's untouchable. I can probably cut Mammoth Spider for now. And probably Scout, even though I do like having a way to ramp. I don't think he's that great. Actually, I can probably cut one Wizard's Retort. That's probably better. So this is 11 plus two Sour Problem Migrations and two Imbolus's Clutches, so basically 15 creatures. Uh, I want to have one trick. I think Gift is basically removal in a deck like this because you just don't have that many ways to deal with guys. Uh, I'd still prefer to pull the Lyra myself because of monetary reasons, but I see your point. Done. Let's do it. Do it to it. Actually, I probably want one. I want an extra forest over an extra mountain or an extra island, rather. Ali and Trazi, my boy. It's your boy. Uh, it does seem like that, doesn't it? This is a. You like this double Imbolus's clutches, Karn's temporal centering, double Multani deck? Double Untamed Kavu, too. Ali, I miss you, buddy. Oh, uh, this hand seems fine, but I don't like having to play this guy on turn two. Maybe I just don't. I may have to blow my nose. I think I'm going to blow my nose, guys. Are you ready? Doesn't matter because I'm going to hide. Okay, we're back. All right, here comes the lands. Incoming flood. Probably just gonna wait to play this guy, depending on what they do, I guess. Two 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 vigilance trample is not super impressive. Here comes knight of malice or knight of glory. Can we add cans for pulling Teferi, Karn, and Lyra like we had for Jason M25? Yeah, I bet we could do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven lands. Let's see, land. Now I'm just going to wait. Thanos is deaf better than what? All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven lands. I think that's actually... No, never. Never. Please, never. That guy does not... Oh, I'm crying out loud. Eight lands? That's where I draw the line, okay? We're good. Oh, look. How nice. Oh, fantastic. Everybody's having a good time. The old nine lands, three spells. A classic. Oh, boy. Yep, just taking five. I guess in terms of draws, that was probably not bad. But it will probably be uh, Cinco Potade. Mm, it was not. Just stop playing islands and we're good to go. Scott doesn't have reach too. Multani has reach, which is pretty sick. We're at a point where we can pretty much uh, play Multani and then bounce every single time if we have to. Keep returning him. Sure. 
Dang it. Dang it. Here we go. Huh. That seems fine. Boy, my kingdom for a gift. Really? They have one card? I feel like we're in okay shape here. Where's one of our two Imbolus's clutches slash two Multanis when you need them? No blocks. I have one card. This guy has trample, which is relevant. This is four in the air, so you go to three. I do not think that does what you think it does. All right, let's see if your last card wins you the game. They might not know this guy has Trample. Wow. I don't think they knew about Trample. Huh. Huh. What the hell? <laughs> Why did you, ha you had this in hand and you chose not to use it? Instead you just moved the jousting lap, what, the jousting lance? This would have also saved you because it would have prevented two damage, maybe. No, it probably wouldn't have. But why would you? What in the hell? Either way, I'm bringing in Broken Bond. <laughs> now we know. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, maybe they forgot it was first strike only on their turn. I still think, even so, I still think spending six mana to steal one of my, to steal my five, five is probably better than spending three mana to give your guy plus two, plus O, oh, right? any trick and you're in terrible shape I don't know that seems worse to me but that's weird yeah you definitely don't need a legend to cast Imbolus's clutches that's for sure sorry I, I just think I'm too stupid to understand this <laughs> that's, uh, that's me right now yeah. I'm just going to play this. I really don't want to throw this out just yet. I am fine with blocking with Academy Drake, though. Oh, triple white mana in your three-color deck. Interesting. I will block. I'm pretty sure we win the, the late game, especially if uh, our opponent is color screwed in their three-color deck. Pretty sure we just take two here. We can we either keep a wizard's retort or make a guy. Both of which are fine. We can also just make a guy and growth it. I just want to keep drawing lands for the rest of the game at this point. And other things. So I want more than I want multiple things. 
That's annoying. Oh, milling a temporary and limited with weight of memory is just gas. Oh, all the feel bads. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just deep freeze that thing. <clears throat> what is the play? Deep freeze or migration? No historic card. Let's get down to business. Yeah, the deck definitely has Tumultani until clutches. I don't know where they are. You'd have to. No? All right. We are good to go. G2G. Could have actually paid more for this in case they have. Well, it doesn't matter, I guess, because it's still a, it's still going to trade. We could have kept that guy alive, but I don't know. I didn't even think about it. It's my biggest problem playing Magic: The Gathering. So you don't think about things. Look, he untapped because he has no text. So now if they have a way to get rid of this, like an invoke in hand, then it's just terrible because he got a free untap out of it. That's fine. All right, that would have been good then because they would have had an 8-8 this turn. Yep, you got it. Yeah, we saw the kick. I just didn't think about it. That was my own fault. Oh, that's a good draw. Multani and Bolus's clutches. Two lands. Two friggin' lands. Oh, fantastic. I mean, realistically, we can just attack with all the Sapperlings. Whatever they block, sack that and another to gain life. So they still take two, and we get to draw a card and gain two. Like, this is basically draw two cards here and gain four life, which is pretty good. Our eighth and ninth land... One, two, three, four, five. Yep, you got it. Hmm. Well, that's a thing. Multani. That's actually great because now we get to uh we get to broken bond this. Not Multani. This is more man efficient. We could also save the broken bond to deal with this in case they somehow manage to get the deep freeze off, which is scary.
Here comes Invoke. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> Stream is starting. I'm, I'm getting really bad. Uh, I'm dropping like a million frames right now because the internet's actually horrendous. No, it's definitely on my end. I've dropped like 21,000 frames. Wow, two more lands. Okay, so there are four lands on the bottom of our deck. That's insane. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's friggin' ridiculous. Yeah, sorry about the stuttering as far as stream goes. It shouldn't be present in the uh, actual YouTube video. For obvious reasons, sneeze time. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Woo. That's how death works. Wow. 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 I'm real tempted to just sack these last saprolings to draw a card because it's got to be something good, right? Just go to one here. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh my god. Put you on you. Interesting. So even if they had a way to get this off, it's only 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We actually go to 16, and we should be able to block at least... Even if we're able to block this guy. If they have charge, it's a little worse. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. But then block here. Like, they'd have to have, like, charge and invoke. I'm thoroughly impressed with our ability to avoid drawing our bombs. It's like a microcosm of this Lyra Carno. But yeah, it is. It's actually, it's like a world within a world. Like it's the meta, it's the meta opening. Because you have like the, the draft itself where you get to avoid, avoid bombs like Lyra and Teferi and Karn. And then in the actual games itself, the bombs you do happen to open, you, you get to avoid those as well. So... Just this guy, huh? No blocks. But I have two flyers. I don't understand. It's good. It's not great, though. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. Block him with Wrath. Okay. Charge. 
reproach. Okay. You lose a wrath. Okay, everybody's everything's coming up Millhouse here. So we can eat we can eat our own Academy Drake to get another Sapperling, which is nice. I think the game's over. Now, top in the charts, it's Frank LaVort's new single, Put You On You. All right, Put You On You. <laughs> it's, a good, it's a good jam. I don't know. You guys, uh, it's a good song. The kids really enjoy it, you know? Here we go. Invoke on Deep Freeze. Okay, just moving the sword. Sounds good. Sounds good. This is all very, very intriguing. Okay, you have four blockers, and I could just make another fifth attacker. Yeah, you're dead. We're just going to draw Multani this turn, so it's going to be like anticlimactic. This is my fifth creature. It's still, it, it was basically a land. <clears throat> this is five guys, and you have four guys. Just because you made a dark bargle, all you get from now on is Jai Valor. Next time, read that. You're right. Actually, it's a good point, Matthew. I I made my dark bargle myself, and now I have to sleep in it. My dark bed argle. All right. Reveal. Let's see where the closest Multani or in in Bolus's clutches was. Wow, right there. There's one Multani, and an in Bolus's clutches right next to each other. Then there's another Multani. And another one. All right. So we, they are in the deck. Our deck's also real good. Is your moto set to hard mode? Um, I, You know, yes, I think it is. That's how it appears. Son of a biscuit, this gif is something else. Son, son of a bits queet? What's a bits? Oh, a bits. Oh, I see. Because bits. I I understood that reference. All right, Skizzy. Let's let's do it. Getting Skizzy with it. No, 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 no. Getting Skizzy with it. That's from the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Yo, scout this, y'all. I will block and hope you don't have fungal infection. You do not. Well, we didn't hit a land here, which is tragic. It's a tragedy all its own. This is the better creature to play now. Actually, this is the better creature to play, play now and later. Now and later. Like the candy. <laughs> I want to save this guy. I think I'd rather trade with Llanowar Envoy uh, and keep the potential to gain 10 life later in the game. This is where we draw no lands, though. You ready? I'm ready. I have lands in my deck, Greg. Can you draw me? Okay, none of this is working the way I want it to. You go there, and you go there. There we go. Final answer. I'm not a fan of anything that's happening here, just to be clear. Hey, look, it's a land, sort of.
Well, I can guarantee our hand is better. Oh, there it is. Now we get to bring in the befuddle. I got, I got way too excited about that. I can also just steal it. Oh, actually, I can kill one of your other guys? Sure. Deal. All right, all right. Mm, okay. They didn't like that. That's actually very good. <sighs> I think this is actually a reasonable trade because we can't actually trade next turn. So I'd actually rather just get rid of him now. We could have also actually tried to steal this if we hit a land, but that's not something I want to risk when I'm at four life. Oh, come on. They have one card. This is actually fine. <clears throat> Whatever we steal with Imbolus's clutches will be legendary. And then we can actually bounce our own druid. Dim Shadow, 50 bones. Thanks for the great content. Keep the good. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. You are awesome, dude. Oh, you're just going to kill my guy with your removal spell. I understand. Do I just really Imbolus's clutches their sergeant? Ooh, that seems gross. Wow, really? <laughs> oh Jesus magic you're such a piece of sh that's amazing dude I heard you really wanted to draw your six mana bombs here you go wow absolutely incredible <clears throat> I will keep this configuration I believe the clutches counts because it makes the creature legendary yes it makes whatever permanent you have legendary maybe it's not wizard's retort I also wouldn't mind the mammoth spider in here because that guy is huge <sighs> Oh, we're going to bring him Befuddle. That's right. Dang it. Yep, we'll keep this hand. I mean, on the bright side, we didn't actually get a sixth land, so it didn't really matter. I'm pretty sure this is a matchup where, like, we just want to survive. So as long as we can do that, I think we're in good shape. And now we have the Multani, at least. I'm sure they'll have the Blessed Light or the Seal Away for it, so. Oh, boy. All right, this is actually, I mean, so long as they don't have an answer immediately, it should be okay. I definitely feel like the magic gods hate me. Yes, that is that is the impression I have. <clears throat> That's old Multani.
I hope they forget Multani has reach. I think they did. That's my thought. Oh my god, they totally forgot Multani has reach. Everyone does because it's such an obscure ability to put on this guy. Oh wow, that was fantastic. <laughs> Eat your shall I. Oh, whoops, it has reach. Yeah, no one remembers that. Oh. They don't forget he has reach. They just never read it. Yeah, I never knew he had it to begin with. Look at that guy getting kicked. So here's what's going to happen. So what do they what do we just bounce? We just bounce their stupid courser. Yeah, we're just gonna keep up wizard short and animus here. I have no reason to I remember walking in the wet grass, on him step behind. Both of us never tire and desperately want him. That's better than ever. I don't know if you guys uh, are familiar with better than ever. <laughs> Let's fight. This is the uh, this is the Maltani soundtrack. Hey Saru, thank you so much. I think we need a little Mitch in here. Yeah, we need a little Mitch, a little Mitch in our lives. I don't have any issues with subs. I'm trying to sub again for like a year. Yeah, boo. I, no one's criticizing that. You sub when you feel like it. And twice now, it's just sitting there processing. Interesting. I dislike. I'm not a fan. Um. God, do we bring Befuddle in for the tech, for the Ever attack when they go to Switch? Both of us never tire and desperately would. I'm going to tag my random Instagram videos. I might as well sub. <laughs> Justin, were you the, did you tag me in like an Instagram video that was like, what did you tag me? In? I think, it, I think I remember that. And I was like, maybe I didn't, I didn't, I think I didn't get it. I was like, what is this tag? I'm going to I'm going to bring the befuddle in just for the value. Just for the value. Because I think it's worth Here's my mentality. I think it's worth getting the opportunity to befuddle.
I remember running through the wet grass, falling a step behind. Oh, they went to five. That's pretty rough. <clears throat> this is the hand we've always wanted. So we have nothing that triggers off of... Oh, that was a good draw. We have nothing that triggers off a historic spell, so we can easily just run this out to save mana. Actually, now it's a good time to actually just play this guy. How many times can Frank say actually in one sentence? He doesn't actually know. All right, this guy does not have reach. He has vigilance and trample. This guy has reach and trample. In this set, they're just like, eh, put a bunch of abilities on all these guys. Desperately wanted. I really don't want to trade anymore. I don't want to trade anymore. That's a bad trade. Land land is what I want. The fan compliment in game three means that I'm just going to crush me even though they mulled a five. Oh, you're giving that dude float, eh? Oh, I see. I see. Land? Ah, that's basically a land. Good for us. We did it. We're making magic. Uh, let's get another blue. There's a lot of double blue cards. Pass. Now Arvad's going to come at us. Oof, gross. All right, we got the Multani. Here's hoping their last card is not Blessed Light. It's going to be Evra. Okay, that's actually fine. I can deal with that. Okay, well, we would have well, land would have been nice there, but you know, again, we know how that goes. So Here we go. <laughs> get stuck on get stuck on five lands with two two bomb six drops in our hand. I'm waiting. Wow. Did you draw a charge? Because this is impressive. This is an aggressive attack. Block you. Block you block you and block you yeah this seems fine all right go to six <laughs> oh come on dude come on Don't even be serious with that. That's amazing. They mulled a five. Charge for plus two, plus two. Thank you. Justin Grimm, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. You've been missed, buddy. I mean, this seems like a good attack for us. Like, we go to three, we can block the Courser. I'm waiting. Just one land is all we need. And we can actually steal this guy. I will definitely go to three here and kill this guy. Okay, they didn't play anything. All right. Well, feeling safer at least. Yeah, if they want to block with two, that's cool. All right, well, here we go. Oh, no blocks at all. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, let's move the sword onto this guy. Have a nice little 3-3. Three, three. That's fine. All right, I think we can win this game. And by that, I mean, I think we've basically won the game. Because our hand is stacked once we hit any land. All right, we hit a land. Yeah, I forgot these has a vigilance. So I was like, I don't know if I just want to have four guys back or not, but. That's a fine trade. Kill you first. All right, that should be the game. Unless they have eight mana spell that kills us. Seems good. <laughs> Good games. All I need was one six land, if you know what I mean. Woo! On Sarah's wings is fine because we have a uh, mammoth spider to block. So, Whew. that was un unfavorably close. Yeah, I'll keep this. Hmm. This is one of the times I might run out sapling migration just to deal with it. Ooh. <clears throat> Nail. I think I've used both Imbolus's clutches and Multani as thumbnails for videos, so that makes me sad. Because now I don't think I can use either for my videos. Oh, a 3 2. I see. I'm still going to play this. There's a Multani. Dang it, I've used both of them. Run amok? Oh god, that's aggressive. Use the fight card. Well, that doesn't work the way you think it does. So next time we get to go to five and play Untamed Kavu. So we can actually just take three more here. We'll keep this guy alive and we'll play two lands next turn. Not the best way of ramping, but still, still a way to ramp. I'm just actually surprised at how uh, how much damage this Dauntless Bodyguard has dealt so far. And next to we can go Altani. Use the fight card? Oh, as the thumbnail. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Um, I don't know if it's been that relevant. I try to use the most relevant card in the matchup as the, uh... Oh, crying out loud. 
Now we're going to use the fight card. I remember running through the wet grass, all innocent me had. Both of us never tiring, playing Multani. Uh, I, my video said don't get demonetized for obvious reasons. Uh, they are not really controversial. <laughs> so, so ideally this Multani can just block. Most relevant card in your matchup in the thumbnail should be a land. Oh, <laughs> no. Just stop it. That's fine. Bro, I got the Animus. Good lord. Michael Barblea Blue? Who even is that? That's just a name you made up, my friend. I'm just going to pass here. Oh, I'm a step behind. Both of us never tire and desperately want him. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Eating your guy. Desperate Multani. Sure. I don't need this guy getting out of hand. We have no creatures in our graveyard. I'll trade with both of these guys. Eat them up. So you go to one here? Good lord. <coughs> All right. You got two mana, two cards, and you're dead. All right. So we're definitely bringing in Broken Bond here. And Mammoth Spider, because that's a big that's a big boy. Uh, you take out the Envoy. Envoy is pretty underwhelming. And we can submit like this. Can't you just make a new thumbnail with Batami in a bowl's clutches? Yeah, I guess I could do that. Desperately wanted. God, he just wouldn't stop singing better than Ezra. Yeah, this is probably the sickest draft deck I've ever drafted. I mean, I don't even know if I could do another draft. Like, but the my my friggin' uh, we'll keep this hand. My frames are dropping like crazy. 
And they went to six. Always a pleasure when they go to six. What the hell? <laughs> Look at that little turd. Temporal Sundering is actually pretty good. That's actually a good suggestion. I appreciate that. All right, this guy's actually very good with this amount of lands, so. Doing a Lorwyn draft, pack one, pick one, cryptic. How fitting, also getting flooded on land, match one. How fitting. <laughs> I feel like you're very close to being me. Yeah, so uh, I guess he could have blocked here, but I was afraid of the plus one, plus one for some reason. I think this guy's pretty integral to our plan here. Oh, crying out loud. That's a painful, that's a painful boy. I better just deal with this now. And then just take one, two, three. We can put a fourth land and play this. Yeah, we're just going to play this next turn. I remember running through the wind. They have two cards in hand, so I have to assume that they can't be that good, right? Frenzied Rage. Oh, un uh, Untamed Kavu could also be. That's pretty good, too. I do owe you a Lorwyn draft. We are, it is, uh, Kerwit donated that earlier, I believe. Just no Kelden Raider. All right, that guy's fine because you clearly didn't have a thing. I wonder if they have a removal spell and they're tempted to kill this guy. <laughs> Jesus. <clears throat> is it big floats or is it... Four one ones. Four one one seems better suited here. Plus, if we draw another, if we draw another card next turn that we can play, we can play big floats and something else. So that's my theory. Oh, going to combat. Do you have profitable attacks here? Interesting. These are my blocks. Wow, really? <clears throat> that seemed great for us. Tiana? No Tiana? Oh, this match feels over. Um, four, five, six. Yeah, definitely keeping both of these. I remember running through the wet grass. Gonna gain ten life. <clears throat> Both of us never tire in gaining ten life, yeah. I don't remember that better than Ezra's song. Well, that's annoying. Put on that warlord. War caller. Warlord caller. So if we block with everything, it dies. <clears throat> and then we get to play Crossan guy. Or we can just jump block, four yield, kill this, but then we get to keep everything else. And then this guy's a 3 2. Go back up to 20. I mean, the game's pretty much even, though, unfortunately. 
We have drawn a ridiculous amount of lands. Nine lands. We do have an untamed Cabo on the top, which is nice. And we're just going to throw everybody else in front, so... Yep. I mean, these trades seem pretty good. That's a good one. Oh, that's a real good one. And Bolus's clutches one time. Both of us never tiring desperately. They have no cards in hand, so even if they put this on here, we still have great blocks. <coughs> God, where's the befuddle? You got it. Yep. Oh, God, first strike. Oh, God, I forgot about that. Oh, that's so bad. <laughs> that's, oh, that's terrible. In Bolus's clutches, one more time still. It's actually pretty good. All right, we're still at 20. Good Lord, I totally forgot about the first strike. I was like, my the plan was in my head. I'm like, all right, we're going to block this guy. We're going to pump this guy to a 9-9. Nine -nine. It's going to be huge. And then I forgot about the first strike, and then I was like already committed. And I was like, oh, no, what have I done? Mistakes were made. This is utterly ridiculous. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lands. I know we have you. This guy's gonna be a six, so three, four, five, six, seven. I guess we can block here and pump. And they have no cards in hand, which is nice. You guys are monsters. You guys might need to refresh as well. Huh.
Wow, you have something. <laughs> Jesus crying out loud, man. Come on. Oh, boy. Two Multanis, two Bolas in the deck. It's actually okay, but not entirely what we're looking for. I guess it's actually pretty good. The problem is how many ways to draw cards. Fungal reaches would be nice. Fungal reaches, is that what it's called? Fungal growth? Yep. But you didn't really need to pump. It's a... Well, I wanted to keep my guy alive. If my guy's a 9-9 nine -nine and their guy's a 6-4, then I want to keep my guy alive. Pretty sure I don't have to restart the stream. I'm pretty sure you guys have to uh, just refresh the page. <clears throat> Unless you're talking to them. I don't know what's going on. You guys are... Just refresh if you guys are behind. I feel like you guys are way behind. Yeah, we're okay on, on frames now, so if anyone's behind or still lagging, feel free to refresh that bad boy. Barman, why? Why are you the way that you are? Yeah, I'm just going to chump block this guy until I can't anymore. I'm going to assume you don't have run amok, and even if you do, I only go to one, so you've already played a run amok. <clears throat> yep, move that over. Move that over. Finally. <laughs> Good lord. All right. Well, re 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 rejuvenating that guy is no longer an option. I don't know what word I was thinking of there. Yep, you can have all your equipment back. Unless you have life gain, I think we're in good shape here. You don't have trample, so I'm just going to block with your own guy because it's pretty useless and saving seven seems significantly better than hoping. Hey, all right. I thought, not surprising that deck went 3-0. However, we did have some hiccups with our land. Maybe this was an 18 land deck, but then there were also turns where we literally 11, 12 lands and only a couple of spells. So 
either way, deck was sweet. Uh, glad it worked out. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons if you're on YouTube. Check out the other content that's up above. And uh, check me out on Patreon. The link is in the description. And uh, thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time.